Hello, Nanak here. Welcome back to Path of Exile. We are playing in the Bestiary Flashback League. It's a hardcore solo self-found witch with ambitions of becoming a necromancer. And we find ourselves in Sarn. And we've captured a stupid beast. So, as I mentioned at the end of the last episode, the... Uh, Transition here, item level of our mobs level is 24 here, so all the blues and higher rarity mobs will drop item level 25. But because my character level is high enough, the vendors in town will also offer items that are level 25. So as such, I've already done a little bit of shopping, ended up with some ringmail gloves that uh, I bought with four sockets. I actually used a couple of fuses to link them. Some chromes to get the right colors in. And now we have zombies that have phantasm on kill, minion damage, and minion life. The moment we get access to specters, minion life is going to get replaced with specters. And once we get a 5 link in our main body, then I'm going to transfer that. And then minion life comes back to support both zombies and specters. So that's the, the plan there. Uh, also gained a, a new helmet with a bonus to minion gems. So that's going to benefit the... Uh, skeletons a little bit this one is actually new and the ring is also new so the end result is that my resists are in a much better shape fire is a bit low the other two are maxed and we've got some extra life so what are we doing in terms of mods today rogue exiles spirits and a bridge so nothing truly scary is going to pop out of this one so that's uh let's see so two additional rare items sure we can work with that. Let's actually take those things out since it's a bit of a distraction. Quick. And then we just pop out and we're good to go. So Act 3 here is where to me the game truly begins. Because this is especially towards the end. Now we get uh, the library. We have a couple of quests that grant us access to more skills. So we get no, more auras here. We, we get curses here. All the, all, the, all the good stuff comes together. But first, we have to make it through the initial part of this act. Ooh, Bubbles Release. That means a bridge. Also, ghosts. Ghosty? Yes, you. Be murderized. Thank you kindly. So, no distractions here. Good. So, totem down, ravens down, bone offering up, and there we go. I'm suspecting it's gonna get more intense now, and the game's not disappointing. Got more things. Okay, the height differences are what make this a little... Let's go with interesting. Monsters will still be appearing in different places. And be scattered, and therefore... On the one hand, we're not going to get overwhelmed. On the other hand, it's difficult for me to overwhelm them. I mean, enemy tactics I can use against them. And I think that was the Reaver up there. Oh, did not drop anything of worth of notes. So, still in the stage where we're just leveling all the things. Uh, Act 4, I will have to be a bit careful pinning down some gems. So, let's just pick up all the things and then level up. So, anything up here. Plated trees, they are four linked. So, you know what? For now, that might be okay. Though, so usually for the boots, I usually I, for the boots I go for the uh, cast and damage taken setup, and in that case, plate of boots would be good. In this build, my ambition is to use bones of Uller, which, well, are pure intelligence. So they're less suitable for Cosmic Damage Taken setup, and that's why I want to eventually have my Cosmic Damage Taken setup in my gloves. Because then, oh, the hybrid armor, energy shield, 
there's not going to be an issue rolling strings. Uh, no red uh, sockets on that one. And then the uh, Boots of Uller can house one of the uh, summoning setups. Okay, dokie. Usually, once you get a lot of these air bridges, that means we're getting close. And this looks like it is indeed close to the crematorium. So that's also on an island like this, but the game is deceiving me. We have more places to go. Augustina Solaria. Hey, silver coins. That's gonna be fine. So one of the things that we of course slowly want to build up to is no prepping for the boss fight at the end of Act 3. We will have piety which deals all three elemental types. When you build something like this, you make persecution a way of life. And after that, Dominus, which has a lot of uniques in there that are sort of kind of like rogue exiles that also deal different kinds of elemental damage so want to have elemental damage just maxed out solid uh, we want to have a source of bleed removal so i've already got that sorted out with my uh, flask here but once i upgrade it i still need to apply bleed removal again to the to the next version but beast crafting is amazing for that one of the reasons why i'm Sad to see it go because blood crafting was just really, really helpful. Okay, a little bit of a dead end. And having a little bit more life would be pretty helpful as well. So I'll just double check. Harbingers, Abyss, and Kadiro. Okay. Or Perendus. It's not Kadiro League, it's Perendus League. So you could be mistaken for that. Okay, let's, uh... okay, so we got Abyss and Harbinger all at once, that's lovely, 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 get out of my face, please, and, ooh, do I spot some, some golden colored Perendus mobs in here as well? Yeah, happy fun times. So I'm keeping my Abyssman Flask up to just max out my fire resists. Reserve his last breath flask, granting uh, life for mana I spent while it's active is pretty amazing. It's very nice so source of additional life regeneration. Especially early on, it's just very nice for stabilizing yourself. You have some ravens. Aha, there is the trial. And there we go. Let's get this burning show on the road. Okay. Ooh, fun times. Everybody on the road, come on, get up here. Don't want to get yourself burnt, my minions. Don't want to get yourself burnt. Also, I intended to cast it on the stairs, not down the stairs. Stupid book. And there we go. All the stairs, book in there, and then Ravens. Ravens all the way. Boop. Slow and steady. Definitely seems to win this race. Okay, fire down. Lever up. I'm safe, and that's that. Oi, no rolling over me. That's, that's rude. And this one seems to be sleeping on a job. Also, seems like the uh, skeleton totem has line of sight limitations. Wisdom to be tempered by the flames of the past. Since it wasn't overwhelming the uh, enemy with skeletons until I recast it inside of line of sight. 
Oh, hey, there's actually more stuff happening over here with lots of rooms. So presumably this is the way forward. If not, it's a very nice elaborate prank on side of the uh, level generator. Oh, more Perendus mobs. With a rain of arrows. Let's just uh, drink one of the uh, animation flasks to help my monster's life regeneration a little bit. It's uh, always convenient when the uh, zombies stay alive. Rather than having to recast them. And in, oh, in fights where AOE is a thing, that's helpful. Okay, so we're overflowing now, so might as well go back to town quickly. I, I miss Vegan. Vegan is always a very shot. handy vendor to sell things to. So, ooh, four sockets. That's actually helpful. So, let's see. Anything worth keeping? It's chromatic, so don't really care. Was I going to go for the for falling boots or am I just going to stick this out for a bit? I think I'm just going to stick it out. I mean, as you see, no, there's a lot of uh, empty gem sockets right now because no, not all parts of the build are together. Most of them will be filled by curses or as things yet to come. So we've got some space and this one has movement speed. It uh, also has a bit of life and, and things and it has green sockets right now. So I think actually just going to get rid of this. Over here, we have a body armor that has four sockets. Also, it has two resists. There's no life on here. That's a, that's a big downgrade. Uh, though it is the same base. I'll keep it, but I'm not going to use it yet. Just as a... Oh, in case I don't find anything and I really, really want that 4-link. Then I've got something to fall back to. But I don't think I have to. So, put you in there. And then we continue. Already see something pointing towards the top. Ooh, that's a uh, hate beat and marble break. Gonna break your marbles. Doesn't sound like a pretty threatening taunt. So maybe I should be standing back a little bit. No, taking damage, not, not a great thing. Okay, another harbinger pack. So. Works rather well, don't just let the minions stream into the room, stand outside it yourself. No, best, best way of tanking is just not being where the damage is. Okay, is this a double? No, it's not. A, yeah, actually it's a, it's a double harbinger pack. Also there's a bunch of fire, so let's once again drink a flask to help my minions a little bit. Though if my life is not maxed, of course, the minions are not really going to benefit from it either. Also, I've been picking up a lot of these binding shards. I probably ought to check if they've converted into a full binding orb already. There she is, my work in progress. Let's see if Rayclast has been good to you, witch. Okay, corpses, bone offering... And look at that. She goes down to zero health and then still has a couple of seconds of monsters flailing at her. I think the damage output is pretty decent for this build. It's always my uh, my informal test to see how I'm doing. Now Clarissa is going to be even sadder. Poor Clarissa. See you. Bye. Okay. Gregor and Marmoa. Ooh, this is the first. But I think discipline was in here as well, wasn't it? Despair. That's the chaos curse. Convocation. Yes, please. Discipline. Yes, please. Nice. So 
Yeah, let's pick up the convocation from you. Then we walk back to Clarissa. Need something? And uh, there's my discipline. So put one discipline in here, put a convocation in there. And then we can put convocation on here for now. Oh, just as a button. Eventually it's going to go on cast when damage taken. And then clarity is up still and put discipline up as well. Let's see if we can swing this in terms of mana. Could be that uh, I'll have to drop the uh, mana aura. Uh, let's see. Curses, curses. Anything else that's in here? Hatred. So hatred is pretty nice for just boosting your minions damage. But I prefer some see more you. defensive auras at this stage. Let's see. Another bone. Okay, so now we definitely can ignore those things. Oh yeah, I mentioned something about orbs, binding shards. Yeah, 16 out of 20. So we're getting close. Oh, orb of binding. Actually, we already have one. So normal item becomes rare with four links. This is no perfect actually for this stage of the game where it's costly to four for socket link things. So now all you need is just a good base item where you get a random rare with the proper sockets. So chromatic links, very cheap. It's nice because recoloring will be a thing. And now we can just have a, have a quick look and see if there's anything in here that is worth grabbing. Um, overlooking the... There's just no suitable armor for me. That That's of course often how it goes. So we just sell these things, get some chromes. Stay out of the shadows. And then deal with it later. So, crematorium done. I think the slog through town is probably the quickest way to get back at the sewer grates. Let's see if we can get ourselves to the marketplace. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, this uh, area actually remains open for quite a while. Is this a closed off area? No, actually it doesn't. It seems to lead to where we need to be. So what was this again? Rogue Exiles, Spirits and a Breach. Okay. So Convocation could help not to just get your minions close to you. Was it keep your enemies close, but keep your minions closer? Well, convocation is very helpful for that. What's up here? Spirits, breach, and abyss. Okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, rare. The teleport capabilities. That's uh, uh, less than uh, stellar. So it seems. Hey, to feed a monster possessed by two spirits. I overlooked that one, but I'm happy to get the achievement. Because that one is difficult to accomplish otherwise. I no longer need fear. Destiny is seen to that. Okay, nice. We can start towards herd the flock. A life regen. On top of the 1% we already have, minions now regenerate 2.5% of their life per second. So in 40 seconds they are full again. Uh, that's not really relevant. Let's have a look. Ice Nova, that's painful. Eight additional items, that's yummy. Three magic items and some quality. Okay. So let's put a totem roughly here. Then we got line of sight. And then convoke minions to outside of the uh, uh, cold Nova. I think at higher levels it's larger, so therefore more dangerous. Probably also one of the nice things here is that my zombies are now supported by more life. As a result, they're a little sturdier. 
And the regeneration will, of course, benefit them even more because larger health pool means more absolute numbers of health regenerated per second, adding to the whole sturdiness part. <clears throat> For the specters, that's also going to apply, of course. 16% ring. Don't mind if I take that one. So that's two busts down, one more to go. And there is Warren Breach. Okay, let's just port in the monsters. Convocation, I, I like that skill. It's uh it, it's pretty key in summoner builds, at least summoner builds that have permanent minions. I mean if you're all, all you're doing is summoning skeletons. Nope, so things like skeletons are temporary minions, they don't get teleported. Yep, they just keep wandering about. Uh, that's that, that's that. Let's do this. Just uh, open up with a bone offering, just to get my minions a little tanky for the initial waves. Ooh, that's... those are nice numbers. Clasping hand, clasping hand. No more enemies. I need more enemies. There. Want that hand. That, that sense of, of greed. I think it actually was my undoing in... The original Breach League. There, I got a little too greedy. And paid the ultimate price. But, well, just can't resist. And, and breaches they do provide with a interesting trade-off between being greedy and being very, very timid. And you are rewarded for being greedy. Well, if you have a lot of power on your side, then it's easier, because then there's less risk for being greedy. Because you will dominate the, the area. But yeah, it's channeling your inner magpie inside of a bridge. Maybe not the wisest of ideas. But it is one way to get those those bridge shards. Oh. There was something in there that could have been captured. Convoc. So it's very nice when uh, you have got cast my damage taken to have Convocation trigger automatically. Also usually by the time you've got... Uh, now you're in, in Act 4, you've got more life as well. So then, not taking 500 points of damage, not that big a deal. Right now, if I were to take 500 points of damage, that's half of my effective life. So, cosmic damage taken, less effective at this point in the game. Great helmet. Hey, is that a... That's actually my... My kite... Of helmet but it's not linked but well, we can fix that or did i actually pick up the third bust no i didn't so what did i miss because we got a side room here we can't progress there so really it's the uh the little one there uh right, will he go back back we go i mean i want that skill point that's uh that's kind of a no-brainer. But let's just teleport my minions in here. And if you go far enough away from your minions, you also teleport. But that's not something you want to rely on too much, because if you have to rely on it, that means you're outrunning your mid shields a little too far. And if we put this one to the side, we can pick up this one. And put on so silken garb. It's a pure ES armor, so I intentionally don't pick those up. Because I know the temptation is really strong to pick them up and then to keep them. And then I'll oh, start valuing having a lot of energy shields. And I'll be forgetting all the armor that I don't have. 
and that that's going to be fatal so i'm gonna keep focusing on just picking up the right kinds of items from the beginning so what's the what's gonna kill us here tormentor spirits invasion and beyond uh, not that bad in terms of combinations i think Reinforced kite shield. Hey, that is larger and stronger than what I have. So we drop that one, pick this one up. Okay, let's just make a thumbs up. Because there's just too many items. Too many fun items. Hagen. Let's see. Shift this one around, shift that one around. And then, ta-da. Skill points. Minions deal more damage. That's Again, always boy. a good thing. So... ID all the things. Oh, this is also one of all the things. Uh, wrong kind of base, wrong kind of base. Bit of resists, but outside of that, there's nothing worth picking up. This one I wanted to keep. That one's not a good base. And this one, it's the right level. We could see if we roll something decent out of it. Like that. Nope. Oh. This one is of course a fragment, not currency. Or it's fragmented currency. Different way of looking at it. Um this wait, are we actually still using the low level nets? I think we are. So let's just swap out, put that one in the corner. This one is the, the new next tier. And eventually I want to do some crafting with all of these. And then that's that. And then we can go on to the marketplace. Hmm. Interesting set of staircases. There's probably a door down here that's locked to us. Otherwise, this, this construction would make absolutely no sense. There are some staircases to nothing. Well, they lead to the water side. That's, that's of course, another thing. Maybe they could unload boats and things like that. Strongbox. We have to remember there's Beyond here. Rogue Exile. That's always fun. Additional rare item. Yeah, I like Rogue Exiles. It's usually you want more packs or, or a stream of monsters or something like that. But, well, Rogue Exiles are fun as well. So, let's do this, do that. And gone you are. And we get a small demon spawn. Let's uh, step outside of the circle. Get you out of the clouds. Voila. Okay. And then... We continue exploring. The, the map rotation seems to be rotated compared to what it usually is. Normally you have to head towards the top left. Now we have to head towards the top right, it seems. Okay, so Mercedes, not a good combo for a minion build. But in this case, combination of bone offering as well as the uh, flask of animation, I think it helped a little bit. But yeah, he, he, he could potentially wreck you if you don't prepare for it. One waypoint. And now, you know, let's wrap this up by going to the catacombs, getting the next trial done. So in the next episode, we can focus all our attention on going towards the Solaris Temple. So what's this one doing? Harbages, Breach, and Nemesis. It's nice and quiet in here. Hello, Nemesis boss. Gone, you are. Ooh, red mob, and there's the trial. So let's do the mo red mob first before the trial, because otherwise I know I will forget about it. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, allies cannot die. Let's take you out first. There we go. Level 27. Maybe I should actually tag this one. Yeah. So now we are using nets again, rather than not using nets. Crickix, deep presence. Uh, let's just teleport the minions out. Okay, yeah, uh, Harbinger in here, definitely messing up the plants. Let's just uh, convoke things out. And try to deal with... Yeah. Deal with the uh, Harbinger first. And there's not many minions to actually teleport out, so let's remedy that. Upside of those red mobs is they have a boatload of life. Hmm. No. Okay, got my zombies again. Okay, let's net this one. Good. Unique bows. Wow. Definitely an interesting fight. There's a lot of damage coming my way. Couldn't go all out myself. Got my more zombies. Uh, oh, minions have extra elemental resistance. That is lovely for those lovely little lightning balls that they kept throwing. So, red mob summoning minions. Harbinger summoning more enemies. Throwing those, those lightning bolts out. It's just a beady... Pretty bad combination of mods. Ooh, giant life flasks. Those are nice. But once again, we have all of our Muppets together. And now this time for the trial. Ooh. Let's just follow the shiny disc. Okay. And we can't teleport through the portal. Uh, but that's okay. Du, 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 du. Hello. There we go. Ah. Nope, 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 nope. Not gonna hit me. An emperor must bear two blades. One more. In the left hand, surety in the right. Now we have it. Two trials done. Made some decent progress. And we got the marketplace waypoint. So next episode we can push towards a Solaris Temple. And then afterwards Lunaris Temple and Piety. Of course General Gravesis is the uh, first real target. Because he's going to unlock a couple of gems. After that library. That's actually going to be a relevant one I think. Maybe. Not quite sure if we actually need support gems from it. But I'll notice eventually once I, uh, I miss some gems. And then uh, we're pretty much on our way to completing Act 3. Well, for now, I'm going to thank you very much for watching. And I hope to see you again next episode. Bye-bye.